Hello, this is Gary Westby, Champagne Buyer at k and Wine Merchants, here to talk to you about a subject I'm often asked about, which is personal favorites in the world of champagne. Um, I love the diversity of champagne and all of the different styles, the older champagnes, um, the very fresh champagnes, the, the Chardonnay styles, the Pinot Noir styles, the Meunier styles. Um, I love them all, from from rosé to brood zero, from um, even even some of the sweeter styles. I find very compelling with the right food. That being said, if you were to do the the, the recycling bin survey, um, one of the champagnes that I've probably drunk the most of over the course of my life is this little guy right here. Um, the Aspazi Blanc de Blanc from um, Champagne Aspazi from the Aristom family in Brouillet in the, the northwest corner of Champagne. Um, this wine, to me, is a personal favorite um, because of its extraordinary refreshment, um, but also the unique flavor that the Chardonnay has from this one site called the Gouda Or, which is an almost impossibly steep, um, dead east facing exposure. Um, I have often explained it as being right at the limit of what I can walk up without having to grab on to the bottoms of vines to pull myself up. Um, I expect it must be around 30%. Um, it's, if, if traction's not right, if it's too dry or if it's, if it's too wet, I'm not going to be able to walk up this thing. Um, but it's just one small plot and it makes this absolutely wonderful, clean, refreshing style of champagne that I just can't get enough of. So. It's um, very exciting for me to, to, to share it all with you today and um, wish that I could do it in person and reach through the screen and um, pour you a glass of this. Um, but their, their wines, one of the things that Paul Vincent Ariston, um, the, uh, the, the, the winemaker, grower and um, owner here likes to do is he, he gives a little extra pressure. So most champagnes are at six atmospheres. His are up a little closer to seven. So there's always a good pop, as he likes to say. Um, and sometimes he likes to let them um, let, let them rip and hit the ceiling. But this wine, as you can see, very, very bright color, um, lovely bead. Just unbelievable, generous white flower aromas. I mean, the, the generosity, the personality of, of of the Aristone family, but very aromatic. Um, lovely little white fruit too. Um, you know, like perhaps a little nectarine, and and naturally the the bread character. To me, I find it to be more on the um, the sourdough side rather than on that you know, really buttery brioche side. It's it's fresher than that. And on the palate, so clean. Some lemony, lemony flavors for sure. Very nice citrus flavors. And just the ideal aperitif. Um, this, this champagne is something that you, uh, all you need is the bottle and the glass, um, but I've had it many, many times with um, sushi. I've had it many, many times with um, many different foods and it's never never really found a, a, a food that it didn't like, um, but it's not one that requires it. So I hope that you'll enjoy a bottle of it soon. Cheers.